What do what do? Yeah. No. So there's only one and when he saw the owl bear kind of appear and then like run off in a different direction, he ran back to camp screaming that there is an owl bear, but it seems to be running in the other direction. So uh let's see, who would actually see this happen. I'm going to move this guy over here a little bit. He's kind of running in a panic. Um, the Black Knight person uh, who, as you examine a little closely, uh, appears to be, it's not like a, a big, it's not like a broad figure, you know. Uh, almost has certain uh, feminine type features almost. It's hard to tell really, but I, it's quite possible given the frame and everything. It's not like the, uh, the, the plate mail's shaped in that sort of iconic video game way, you know. We're talking like Brienne of Tarth here. Yeah. Like, if <laughs> if you didn't, if, if it weren't for the sort of narrowness of some of the limbs, like, you, it would be challenging to tell if this was a uh, female or not. But this individual uh, walks up to the, Slightly panicked cultist. Not terribly so, but slightly. Definitely a concerned individual. Just walks up. And the cultist looks... Well, it's not really facing any of you. But... Uh, Kane probably would catch... Some of this. Uh, Krishna would definitely see this go down. Yeah, but the tent's kind of in your way. Not to mention the actual hinge there, but Krishna and Kalan can kind of peek through and see this. Um, give, me, give me, actually the two of you, Kalan and Krishna, give me perception checks, please. Real quick. Clank. 23. Dang. Okay. Um, so. Eh. So you both see this part. And then I'll add the sort of the addendum to what Clank additionally sees. But. This knight person puts her hands together, right? As like a, almost in a form that is similar to like praying, like flat, flat hand to flat hand, right? And as, well, let's just say she, because, you know, assumptions, I guess. Uh, they, whatever, uh, as, as they pull their hands apart and sort of begin to stretch them out, a shape consisting of reddish energy begins to sort of 
form and stretch between their hands, right? Gets a pretty good distance out. And then one of the hands, the, the left hand, turns and grasps the end of this glowing thing and pulls it to her, to their, whatever, uh, to their right hand and is holding it like a sword. But it appears to be made of pure, like, technos. Um, there isn't, the, the, the weird thing is, though, there isn't any physical thing there. Like, there's no actual hilt or anything. Yeah, kinda. Um, but, uh, Clank, specifically, you notice that as that happens... The Black Knight has a ring on their left hand that glows as this sword appears. It is a sword. A, specifically, a great sword. And without really saying, there's like a single word that's spoken. And the voice is deep but also it's it's sort of androgynous uh, and the the, the black knight says coward and then stabs the cultist in the chest and uh, the cultist needless to say is super dead uh, and collapses and then the voice says if it returns kill it if not leave it be and then she begins to move back and she goes back to her stance where she was, which I think is actually like right here. Uh, and it sort of quiets down again, which is the other cultists, of course, look a little not necessarily perturbed by it. It was almost like it was an expected thing, especially because like most of the other ones are, you know, super into it, you know, super into the cult, that, that cult life uh, where you just blindly obey and, you know, your life doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things. Yes, yes. Zealots, indeed. Things sort of quiet down a little bit. The pool of blood uh, spreads around the corpse. And uh, this cultist right in the tent with Damakos kind of steps out and is now taking up the post that the other cultist did not have. Or, you know, is no longer doing <laughs> for reasons. What do you do now? Yes. Yep. Uh, from where you are, Kane, your passive perception is 21. Okay. That's too high. 
Oh, you're passive. You're passive. I see what you're saying. Okay, so you have... Oh, goodness gracious. 26 is your... <laughs> it's your passive. It's plus 5 of your passive, right? Dang. And... Gotcha. And it, and it lets you... Uh, I gotcha. And it lets you read lips. Assuming... Okay, okay. Cool. It is. Uh, yeah, that is ridiculous. So, you can still hear the jangling of, of like, bags of coins uh, coming from the Domico's tent. And, uh, you know, the Black Knight returns to turning every so often and keeping a watchful eye. What is the next step? By the way, after she, after they kill that guy, uh, the sword flickers and just, just, just kind of dissipates. Okay. This would be a sneak attack for sure. I gotcha. Yeah. Right, right. Uh, so you, you approach the edge of the tent. Give me another stealth check. And I do believe that your pass out of trace is still active. So. <laughs> is that the same bonus? Oh, uh, so that's an, that's a 16. Oh, plus another, th okay, I got you. So that would be 27, 30, yeah, goodness gracious. 37 stealth. Uh, yeah, you're totally, absolutely silent. Uh, you line up your shot. This is the surprise round. Uh, let, you know what? Hang on. Getting everybody in the turn order here. Well, we shall see. No, it didn't. It didn't update it. Yeah. Just, yeah. <laughs> the fact that you have your middle name in there is very funny to me. No, it's still funny. It was funny originally. Okay, so what does this do for me? Numerically by what? Okay. Uh, no, I'm gonna go that. 
All right, so Cain got a 10. All right. Let's get some initiative rolls here real quick. Krishna, what you got? Or just everybody. Go ahead and roll initiative, and I'll just update it. <clears throat> Ooh. Got to rock in that 19. Krishna got it, too. <laughs> Oh. Okay. Oh, that's the wrong. Derp, 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 derp. Oh, yay. Okay. What? Maybe that's not your role. That is your role. Yeah. Okay. So my role was for the cultist. That's a big two. Two plus one is three. And then for the... Oh, <laughs> yay. Okay, that's fun. Oh, that's true. Yeah, I can totally do that. Although the cultists are... I just made them a single group because, yeah, that's crazy. Numerically uh, descending. Okay. Nice. Nice. All right, so hang on just a quick second. And I'll go ahead and add some little dots to these guys. Blue. So we can kind of have some sort of color scheme for these dudes. running out of colors here though yellow and then that one will just be no color there okay the colorless he'll be a colorless energy all right Kane got your shot lined up he is facing away oh yeah you're hidden dude yeah you're stealth you rolled a 37 on your stealth check. You are stealth for sure, and stealth stealth gets you advantage. Uh, 21 will hit, Domikos. Let's get that sweet, sweet damage. Is that 31 damage? Nice. You can hover over the number and it'll tell you what the roll was. Yeah. 1d6. Wait. For your damage, it says 1d6 plus 5, with this, which is dex, plus 6, which is mod. To your damage? What's that extra? No, so you have it as 1d8 plus 5 plus 6. So you have it as 1d8 plus 11. Which... Yeah, I'm not sure what that's from. Uh, 
Oh, okay. Gotcha. Man. I still don't see that ruler. That's blowing my mind. I don't know where that thing is. That's okay. I can, I can count squares if I need to. I'm sorry. Uh, for like measuring distance, my like Quetzal's doing. I don't. I don't know where that is. Oh. Okay. Gotcha. I am just a dumb. Cool. Uh, so you rolled to, to shoot again. Wait. I'm sorry. I was like preoccupied. What was that extra plus six score? Oh, okay, okay. So then, so then that would just be a plus one. Okay, I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. So that would be then. Uh, so it's three. Okay, so that's I got gotcha. you. So that's nine plus seventeen. You're all pretty good. Nine plus seventeen is twenty-six. All right. There it is. Okay. Boom. Now for the enemies, I'm going to be adding their the numbers there in their block to see how much damage that they've taken. So you don't know exactly how much they have, just how much they've taken. If you click on there. And maybe you may not even be able to see that if you click on it. But so that was your second bow strike? The 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 okay. So that one would not have been advantage because you, you know, it's only for your first shot. Uh, so that's a, so that's the, just the one on the left is, yeah, it's 20, which still hits. <coughs> so what you got? Okay, yep, mucho, nice, dude, that's awesome. So you do 14 more damage there. Goodness gracious. Okay. No, uh, you hear. Everybody hears because it's pretty loud. He's just like, huh? oh, <laughs> what? <the? laughs> what the? <fu> <laughs> uh, yeah, he does not have. It's not a good time for him. Uh, he just took forty damage. Yeah beefy no indeed it does not and at the top of the round is the black knight and they kind of wish the rotational thingy was not a light blue so I can actually see it all right here let's get some measurement here <clears throat> Got 40 feet of movement. Uh, actually, I'm going to probably double move until... Did you want to move anywhere, by the way? Yeah. Well, actually, since it's a surprise round, I, I would allow a movement, I think, at that point. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. <clears throat> As the Black Knight is running, they, uh, they do kind of a similar motion, but faster this time, and the sword reappears. Um, and they're gonna move, it's, it's gonna be a double move, essentially, uh, and kind of rush into the tent. Rah, what's going on? And then, like, essentially at the same time, you've like dashed 
the tent open and uh, you kind of step through a little bit and Domikos turns to look at you and he gets a kind of a wry grin on his face and he says hey that hurt man that's not that's not cool <clears throat> <laughs> Quetzal. To fly, yes. Yes, yes, yes. We we did we did adjust that because um Harriet's blink or blur was also that. Yeah. Hang on. You flying, you said? Alright. I can't put wings on you. Kinda. <clears throat> Let's do this. Yeah, for sure. So you kind of fly over the tent and then drop down a little bit to hover 10 feet up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sounds good. Good deal. Oh, goodness. You rolled a five. Plus four. Yeah, it does not hit. So, 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 so you throw it and it uh, kind of like uh, it clips past. It almost hits him. Uh, but he dodges out of the way kind of at the last second and it just sort of bounces harmlessly and then hits the, the stone this stone pillar right here. Yeah. Okay, good deal. Next up is Kane again. <laughs> oh, wait, hang on, hang on. Before we do that, I don't think I put Mr. Domikos in here. I need to... Yeah. I mean, I could. That's a three. Uh, uh, let's see. Yeah, well, he, he gets some degree of bonus to it. So hang on, I gotta reorganize this a little bit. Let's go descending again. And Black Knight already went. Quetzal already went. And Kane, so now we're back in business. Kane, it is your go, my friend. Ow. Hang on. <clears throat> uh, no, I mean, you can tell he's kind of putting on a bit of a brave face. That, that hurt a lot. Like, a lot. I mean, like, there's an arrow sticking out of his back. There's two arrows sticking out of his back, really. One of them was very close to his spine. <laughs> okay. Sure. It's the beauty of the search option. Uh, Quetzal, you can change your fly block to have a casting time as one bonus action. Change your fly 
block. How you have cats in time is one action question mark. Put that put that as a bonus section. And that is range self, not touch. Uh, because you cannot cast it on someone else. You can only cast it on yourself. Okay. Taking it one more time. Okay. Okay. Ooh. On the. Yeah. You're right. Okay. Okay. Oh, fun. <laughs> You're also in the tent. But sure, I think we could do that. Um, go, go ahead and roll the Ring of the Ram attack. Um, it, it, it will do damage because you're going to hit Domikos with that any way you slice it. Because, like, it goes out in a cone or something, like a line, maybe? Yeah. Okay. Okay, okay. Great. So you want to intentionally miss him. This is the side of the, the side of the tent. I got gotcha. you. Okay. I got you. Still, roll. Go ahead and roll. It's not going to be a high AC, but let's see what happens when you roll it. Just do like slash R D twenty plus seven because I don't think you have that set up just yet. Nice. Okay. Yeah, that's that's plenty. Um, and you said it's two D ten. Okay, that's going to be more than enough to knock the tent down um, and since you were not aiming it really at either of them um, we'll say that it, it doesn't really have to hit them because you don't okay yeah I got gotcha. you <clears throat> yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. Give me, give me a uh, dexterity saving throw. Oof, indeed. All right. <laughs> no. Um, but what happens next is very strange to you. Hang on. Let's see what this is. Ooh. Your armor class is higher than that, isn't it? Your armor class is 19. Okay, <clears throat> fair enough. 
Um, what happens is, as, as the tent's falling down over them, and you kind of tuck away, so you, like, you, you sort of position yourself such that as the tent is collapsing, you kind of, you just kind of step back a little bit so that, so that the, uh, you, the sort of, the opening just kind of comes around you. Um, but what's strange is that a tentacle, a black writhing tentacle shoots out from the collapsing tent from somewhere. You can't really see because it's all crazy stuff happening right then. Uh, and tries to grab you. But you are able to avoid the attack. And nothing happens. Haha. <laughs> Blank. By the way, Hoot Hoot is uh, still kind of marching on that way because uh, nobody told him to stop running away. Uh uh. That ain't how it works, brother man. <laughs> Yeah, measure me out. Uh, double movement would be 80 feet, I believe, for him. Oh, he, he can get right up in there. Okay. That's Quetzal. Yeah, there should be a, a name tag there. Oh, okay. I'll have to, I'll, I'll have to tweak that later. So he can get right up on this cultist if you want him to. All right. Cool. He can't attack because he's he's double moving, but he can totally do that. All right. <clears throat> we'll say that he goes on, on, on your initiative count. Okay. All right. Your your red circle. Oh, you got it somewhere. Yeah. All right. So let's see that D10. And then once the D10 happens, then there might be a percentile roll. Two. Okay, what's two? Oh, okay. Great. Uh, so, you don't really wear armor much, do you? So... <laughs> So the bark skin, you, uh, it's it's very. Sh Sorry, go ahead. Huh. Okay. It's a very strange feeling, um, but there's a sort of rippling of magic, and your the the sort of metallic plates of of your, I guess your sort of skin, so to speak, air quotes skin. Uh, thickens up a little bit and begins to look like you basically look like Groot for all in, for all intents and purposes uh, let's see bark skin okay this is a handy all right Concentration, it is a concentration kind of thing, so you can maintain it for up to an hour. Um, 
Until the spell ends, your skin has a rough bark-like appearance, and your tar and your AC can't be less than 16, regardless of what kind of armor you're wearing. So, that part's right. So that part is, uh, that's good, but it doesn't really help you a lot, sort of grand scheme, because your AC is already 17. So, it just essentially makes it no, it's fine. It just means that you can't, like, for... There there are no outside sources that can reduce your armor below 16. Yeah. Very good. Very good, very good. Fantastic. So you move up, you do that. Very good. Now, next up is one Mr. Damakos. He looks to Kane. Uh, that's true, actually. He is stuck under the tent. You hear him swearing, and he's going to make a uh, dexterity. Let's see. Uh, plus three. Saving throw to try to no, it would just be a dex check. Let's see what happens. Boop. Nice. Okay. Uh, so he is able to uh, squirm a bit free of. Let's see what direction. What do you? What? What was that, Quetzal? Oh, gotcha. Uh, he's gonna kind of. What he does? Here's here's what uh, Damagos does. He draws a blade, and he's you know kind of fighting against the this stupid tent and he's not able to do anything other than cut his way out from the tent so you can see him he's, he's still kind of in the same place that he was but he's not covered up by the tent anymore and that's what he's going to do that's all he can really do right now which is just boo for him okay the cultists These are going to move up. I need to rotate these. No, no. Just got it. Sometimes the system can be a little weird. Got two that are. In, you said you're 10 feet up? go for you because nope they're not gonna go for you because they can't reach you so they're gonna go after hoot 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 all right these on the stone Essentially, right there we go. This will be better. We can just measure it out. Yeah. We're gonna double move over here. Great. I wish I could just like hold a different button or something and get that to work. All right. The guy that's actually close to here going to move up and let's see what he does 
Ugh. All right, he's gonna try. He's gonna try to like pulling the uh, the tent off of them, the two of them. He sees that that Domagos kind of cuts himself free, but he 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 notices that the the Black Knight has not yet been freed, so he's kind of working toward that. Krishna. It is your turn. Yeah, it's the circle. It almost looks like the power, the power logo. Mm-hmm. That'll be a double move, so you wouldn't be able to attack this turn. Unless you have a ranged attack. And then you can move... You can move 30 feet, and then... Hidden under that tent. Said like yeah. Oh, okay. But this is not hidden under that tent. <laughs> Which one? Uh, yeah. Pretty, pretty hurt. Um, kinda. Um, he, he probably has some magic, but if you had to guess. He's probably multi-classed like you. Not in the like same format, but he, he, he probably has different classes than just one. Who is drawing that? <laughs> oh. Uh, well. Okay, well, whatever. <laughs> oh, okay. Nice. I love you casting it. Um, let me look. If you go kind of where like the settings and stuff is, there's the, the eye with the circle on it. Um, and it lets you search D&D 5th edition. So let's do Guiding Bolt. Guiding Bolt does, um, it's, okay. So at, lo at level one, it's 4d6. And then for each level beyond that, it does an additional 1d6. So if you cast it at, like, okay, good. Nice. Man, I, I love that, that SRD search thing is so nice. <clears throat> Goodness gracious. So it would be... Did you guys stop making rando notes? So rude. <laughs> so it would be your, because you're casting it as, uh, it, it, it's your charisma bonus plus your, uh, What's your proficiency mode bonus, yeah. Yeah, so charisma plus proficiency. 
And I don't, I don't think you have any implementation that would give you magical boosts to that yet. Unless I'm mistaken, I'm not sure. I got disconnected just now from OBS. So it's probably going to kick <coughs> kick back and forth. It'll reconnect soon. We're recording it, so it's not really a big deal, but Oh wait. Oh no. No. Hello. Hey, speak guys. Yep. Yeah. 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 Yep. Oh no. We've been muted this whole time. I think you guys have been muted this whole time. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. We're like 50 minutes. That's hilarious. It's okay. Our senior reviewers probably won't be that disappointed. Goodness gracious. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Ugh. I would I say rookie mistakes, but I feel like we've been doing it this, this too long to yeah, it's, keep making the same totally mistakes. Yeah, that's totally bad. That's on me. Because I muted it for the break room screen. Yep. And I don't know why it muted it for the other one I, I i didn't even think to look dang that sucks <laughs> that's gonna be weird to go back and look at. well everybody welcome back <laughs> oh hey thanks how's been playing with yourself yeah really uh i did not have my desktop audio on so great 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 times Thankfully, other than some attack rolls, which you can see there, uh, it wasn't too crazy. The tent fell down on those two because Kane launched a ring of the ram. Sorry, I'm going to do a quick sort of recap here. Uh, and Domikos has taken 40 damage. Um, you know what I didn't do? Hang on. I have to do this real quick because I'm a dumb. Uh, I'm glad that we have sound back on for this, but I need to roll the cultist's attacks against Hoot Hoot. Yeah, I'm happy that we have sound back on when you say you're dumb. <laughs> okay. Goodness gracious. Uh, I feel like mad it's great <sighs> okay um, other than that Hoot Hoot came back and the cultists surrounded them and Quetzal's flying <laughs> and Clank has bark skin on because of his random table rolls and that's pretty much it <laughs> So, yay. All right. Congratulations. You've been caught up over 45 minutes of content. I know, right? In, in two minutes. Normal rules. Oh, no. They have. That's terrible. What is what is Hoot Hoot's armor class, by the way? Uh, let me see. I have it's it not, It's not very high. It's like no. 11 or something. Oh, I asked it out of Facebook. Yeah. It's like 13 or something. Alright, we'll call it 13. I'm fine with that. I know he has like 90 hit points. Yeah, he has 90 hit points. I know that much. Alright, and they're flanking, so... That one still misses. I need to make these with advantage, otherwise I'll be rolling forever. Okay, submit. Great. 21 hits for three damage. We want advantage on our next attack. 16 hits for seven, so that's 10 total. And then one 
more. 15 hits for another 7. So 17. Hoot Hoot takes 17 points of damage. He's now down to 73. Whew. Okay. I may have to just edit that second video and just take out that whole chunk where it's just me talking to myself. <laughs> nice. I can't I think you, just, that. you need to cut that out and then just post that on its own as a entire <laughs> as a bonus. Like here's here's my here's the true definition of insanity. Okay. Um so Krishna, what did you roll to hit? Yeah, so I don't know how to do that. How do how do I roll the spell attack? Uh let me look at your character. I can't find, I can't find it. Look at your character sheet. Or even to do a regular melee attack, I can't find what I would hit. So if you at all. select that, okay. So your spell attack is let me, yeah. Your spell attack bonus is plus six, right? Right. Yeah. So if you roll, uh, I'll roll d twenty nine six. Yeah. yeah. Yep. That easy. Easy peasy. Okay. Nice. Excellent. And that's against Domicos, right? So that hits. Right. And you were casting it at level three. Level three. Okay. Yeah, okay. so that's um six D six oh. damage. Excellent. Yes, yes, yes. And now I have um advantage to hit him next yeah, the the next person to attack him will have advantage. Twenty, nice. dang, that's really good. That's super good. <clears throat> he has taken so far sixty three damage. Nice. Very good. Did you want? To you, it's a you move, and then you attack. Do you have a bonus action? Um, uh, yeah, I should do. Something. I should do something with that bonus action. Um, if you can, and, I mean, you don't have to, but yeah. Um, well, since I have shield access to shield, I don't think I'll cast shield of faith just yet. So um, I'm good with just that. Okay. You got it. <clears throat> Here we go. Um, how much damage did Hoodoo take there? You said. I got it already. You did. Okay. Um. Yeah. He is at seventy-three hit points. Can you not see the bubbles on him? Uh, let me see. If you click on his icon. I cannot. No, he has to have control of the token. Oh, I think I can actually show. You, you can that. turn on our health bars for the. There's a way to. I don't. I don't know. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Oh, here. Let me do this. Uh, his AC is 13. Good. HP 40, yeah. Is that... Oh, 90, sorry. Does that show his health bar now? Uh, no. Goodness gracious. Nope. Why is that not... Show... Uh... Okay. I don't know why it's not... Oh, here we go. Derp. Now, that should be what we need. Now you can see it. Yeah. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. All right. Krishna's done. Top of the round. Oh, sweet. Krishna, you can also turn on your auras. Oh, nice. Yeah, you can. Click on the little, like, click on your token and click on the little sightings icon. There's an option in there for Aura. <clears throat> yep. Oh, nice. I think it's just five feet. Maybe ten feet. I'll have to double check that. Okay. The Black Knight is going to step around 
we're going to kind of push through the same opening that Domico's just made. Kind of step around to right here. <laughs> and is going to attack Kane with the sword that they are wielding. You guys ready? Yes. Oh, okay. Boom. Normal roll. It does not have advantage or disadvantage. Uh, let's see. You can um, make that a little bit less opaque as well, so it's like a faint thing to, I think, anyway, for your aura, Krishna. Ooh. Ooch. That hits. It's got flavor text. That's a 28. Oof. Okay. So you'll take a total of 14 damage. If uh, I have to admit. Wait. Hmm? That's, I, I get the chance to make a con save though, right? That's to negate the 1d6 necrotic damage. The necrotic. On your next turn. For your next turn. Oh, okay. So it automatically does the necrotic, and then... It leaves. Yeah. Gary G festering wounds. Gross. Pretty sick. Mm-hmm. Nope. Oops. All right. So you take your 14 damage. Who did the Black Knight just hit? Kane. Me. Okay. That's the first damage you've taken, right, Kane? Yes. Taking... Now, let's see. What is that range? Ooh. And then the next thing that happens is by far the strangest thing that you've ever seen. And it's a little terrifying, frankly. Um, what oh, that's been some pretty strange shit. What appears to be... <laughs> I've been some places. It, it actually looks somewhat similar to the shadow stuff that Kane uses to make his weapons and such. Um, but it's a little, it's slimier, if, if you can kind of imagine that. And bursting from this Black Knight, um, this sort of uh, black writhing tentacles whip out, uh, they reach out for They have a range of 15 feet. And let's see if we get any hits here. All misses. 24. Miss. <laughs> <laughs> Is it though? You're so funny, Kane. He's so funny. I'm pretty sure this it does actually. No, that would just barely hit Krishna. Yeah, and then I would just shield that shit. <laughs> okay. So you use a first level spell slot to cast shield, right? What is it? What is, what is so this tentacles, testicle spray here? <laughs> tentacle spray. Yeah, tentacle shoot out, shoot forth from all. Around the black knight. That's it. She just pulls me adjacent to her. No, fuck that. I'll come closer. You take the hit. <laughs> is it? It doesn't do any damage. It says it just. Pulls no, it does closer. damage. Oh, it does damage. Yeah, he didn't roll the damage yet. I haven't rolled the damage yet. I just oh, hit okay, now. Yeah. Uh, Kane's already adjacent, so it doesn't really pull Kane anywhere. It just does another it sixteen does points of bludgeoning damage. Yeah, um, yeah, I'll take that hit. Okay. It's like 16 bludgeoning. 
pull me on up. Let's get closer, sweetheart. We're gonna All fucking right. dance. Hold up closer. Yeah. And now the the tentacle spray will have to recharge. So that's not that's not like a always. A, it's like it's not every turn that that happens. All right. Okay, so. <clears throat> Would it like update the damage on my status bar here? Or do I need to change that? Um, I got you. I, cool. I can, I can take care of it. Minus sixteen. So that puts you at sixty-four. You only have eighty hit points. Well, yeah, two sorcerer levels. You know. Oh right, I got you. Okay. Yeah, I'll Fair enough. Yeah, so you're down to. I thought you had more hit points than that. I don't know why. Crazy. Uh, yep. Kane, you also take 16 bludgeoning damage. Ow. You with us, Corey? Corey. What? what? Sorry. Uh, I was looking at something. You got hit with a tentacle spray, too, so. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's up to five targets within its range, so. It hit you gotcha. and Krishna, and you take another 16 bludgeoning damage. Tasty. Let's see. Tasty damage. Uh. And don't really need to worry about that strength check since I'm already pulled as close to, as possible. Correct, yes. Measuring. There we go. I'm moving to uh, here. Okay. And I'm gonna launch a launch a hot pocket feather. Okay. Oh, it's gonna fucking hit. Do it to it. God damn it. <laughs> That's a six. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> You're having, you're having no luck here. I'm not. At all. Throwing hot pockets at the ground. Feeding the homeless. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it deflects from the armor. And just yeah. sort of lands on the ground. It doesn't trigger. Alright. Boo. Uh, and you already moved. So that's your go. Unless you want to do anything with your bonus action. Um, uh, I want to eat all of my shark. <laughs> okay. All of it? Uh, <laughs> no, I won't, I won't do it. <laughs> One of these days, I'm going to eat all of my shark candy. <laughs> Just explode from massive indigestion. <laughs> it's your turn, Chris. Pain. All right. So... I'm going to I'm going to try to shadow step back on top of well this hinge over here. Okay. <clears throat> that doesn't provoke, does it? With shadow step? No. Not uh, I wouldn't think so. Oh, also, I almost forgot I have to take your stupid D6, of of course. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, you do. All right. There you go. Um, and I'm going to aim my bow at... Wait, hold on. Which one is... Christian is right over here, right? Yeah. This corner? Um. Why? Well, if I need I need someone to one of my allies to be in melee range, or yeah, I can't get sneak attack. Didn't pull. Um, was the shadow step your bonus action? Yeah. Or was that your move? Part of your. Uh, move? no, move. It'll be it'll be okay. my move. You can um potentially bonus action hide. 
Um, because it's, you know, you've been waiting and stuff. It's, it's dark out, so. True. Actually, in that case, I'm going to... Let me make my shadow step over here so it's uh, a lot of sight change. Okay. Sure. Um, and yeah, and I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll try to do a bonus action to hide. All right. Actually, hold on. Let me double check. I may get a free uh, hide when I use shadow step. Oh, that's true. You might. I don't remember. If uh, I can't remember if that was the case or not. Yeah, I need to. I need to ha see how you wrote it. Um, yeah. So as long as you're, if you land in dim light or darkness, you gain a stealth check as a free action. Oh, great. Then that's, since we're, that's what you got then. And this is, and this is why we waited until nighttime. That's right. It is your primary time of employment. So <laughs> do it. All right, so sweet, sweet stealth roll. Um, you haven't cast any other concentration spells. I do. Uh, very good. I do need you to make a concentration check though. Hide in plain. Oh, your uh, pass without trace. Pass without trace. Yeah. Okay. So we'll see how your. Eee, that's a one. Yep. I do. N I'm not maintaining that spell. Not maintaining that spell. Okay, that's fine. Uh, no big deal. But your stealth rolls. Your, your stealth rolls 15. All right. We will. Uh, let's see how the perception checks go. Okay. Nice. Okay. Well, I mean, the cultists don't really. They have a passive perception of 10. So, um, yeah, I would say that you're good. I'm going to say that you're good. Because they, All right. like, the majority failed. So, lovely. So, you that's going to be. At least until your next shot. Sneak attack with, the, with advantage on Dama Douche. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah, because I'm bull seeing red right now. Mm -hmm. So we'll go ahead and first attack. And then second attack. Gets. Second attack does not get advantage. Correct. So okay. that's going to be a miss. Yeah, just the first one hits. But that's the... It's That's the, the important, important one. one. Well, then again, as long as I hit. No, you would only hit if you had advantage, so your second one would not have had sneak attack if you hit with it. All right. Um, Ooh, 34 damage. Dang, dude. Dang. The five, two sixes, and a three on that <laughs> sneak attack roll. <laughs> Delightful. Uh, yeah. He and is. I think I get, I think I get another. Yep, I get another sneak attack die next level. Hey! Yay! Yeah. <clears throat> Come on, level nine. So sweet. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> You'll get there before you know it, really. Um. Okay. Yeah. You you shoot him. And it, this this arrow pierces into his uh, into his side, and your arrows are worse than your sort of typical arrows anyway, because they don't stick around. Yeah, like it's just shadow stuff. So once it pierces through and does the damage, it dissipates, just leaving the hole, and you just bleed out. And like he's bleeding from least three places uh that you've shot him very deeply uh with with the arrows and he is honestly looking scared right now that's what it gets <clears throat> yeah all right good job 
Plank, you're up. All right. So for Hoot Hoot, um, I want him to attack. He's going to bite and peck the green one. Which I okay. think, let me see what the roll is. I know that it is, I think he has like plus five to hit. It is 1d10 plus 5 for the What's peck. What's his attack roll? We'll have to make uh, up. Plus like 7. That. Okay. Great. Yeah, so it's... Oh, watch out, cat. It is... Give me that roll. So roll... 1d... 20... Yep. Plus 7. For this will be against the orange one, uh, the peck. Oh. <laughs> All right. It's a uh, 1d10. 1d10 plus yeah. 5? So don't, 15 don't even plus bother whatever rolling, I roll. Dude. Don't even bother. Yeah. That dude is super dead. Nice. So Hoot Hoot just, with its beak, right? This is the peck part. Uh, yeah. Just like reaches just the beggar just the beggar and just rips this cultist's throat out and it's just like gurgling and it, it the, the cultist collapses to the ground and stops moving fairly quickly because you bleed out pretty fast when your throat's ripped out and dead <laughs> like seconds um okay you can do the claw attack against somebody else yeah against the green one okay okay great oh, 1d you can just hit up the up arrow and it'll re roll that, that number. For ah. You. That'll hit. And this one is a. Uh... 2d6 plus 5? Yes. Because it's the two claws. 2d8 plus oh, 5. Even better. Let's see what you roll. Oh, dude, that is on. The nose. <laughs> Good. <laughs> How much damage you did. That's amazing. Hoot Hoot just killed two cultists by itself. <laughs> <laughs> Hoot Hoot, he just yells out. Really? That one guy was afraid of the uh, of an owlbear. And owl bear. removed uh, the flanking that was on it. So now the those other cultists don't have advantage on him, which is handy. Uh, and now, Clank, it's your turn. So All right. What you going to do? I am going to use uh hmm <laughs> yeah fuck it uh will of the wild again okay wild yes wild. yeah do it All right. do it roll better yeah. you keep rolling really bad on these and I don't know why yeah hey bark skin's so. useful. Barkskin's useful, but not really for him. Like what he's ah, <laughs> it, it summons flumps. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> six of uh, one okay. d six flumps. <laughs> uh, I will let you if you want use another luck point to re-roll that. Just one. Yeah. All right, I'll do that. Let me subtract it. I don't know how that keeps happening. Like. You you've used. Oh my. Ah! It's not possible. All right, I'll give you another. I'm gonna. What about one more luck point? You know what? Don't use it. Just re-roll it. I want to get right. something other than one. How is this possible? If you roll a one. Three. Okay. What is three? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. Dude, I cast. You've rolled mirror image. You've nice. You've rolled. Four times on this table. And you rolled a one the first time, and then a two, then two ones, and then a three. How? That is like statistically ridiculous. Uh, <laughs> skill. So you cast Mirror Image. So now there's like three or four of you uh, around you. Ha ha. Yes. That'll teach them. I'll teach them. Yeah, so that when anything attacks you, 
there's a chance that it'll kill one of the m the mirror images before it do does any damage to you. Nice. Yeah. I don't remember exactly what the chance is, but yeah, it's pretty handy. That that one actually is fairly handy. Yeah. Uh, wow. Okay. Zamakos. Zamakos's turn. He was quite distracted before being covered up by Tempt. He's not distracted anymore. Um, he, uh, he tries to, like, say something, but he kind of coughs up a bit of blood, you know, because he's, he's hurt real bad. <laughs> he's like, ugh, ugh, ah, uh, ow. This isn't over. This... I will see to it that you are all killed. Uh, and he begins... to cast a spell. This son of a bitch. No! Does anyone have... Counterspell? Counter spell? Not yet. No one. <sighs> nope. I'm a bird. <laughs> Slick Willy. Slick Willy, indeed. There is a flash of arcane energy. And this is at least good. In, in, in this way, this is good. Uh, he is unable to, because of the nature of how the tent is, he is unable to really get at the chest to be able to teleport away with the chest. Excellent. So uh, he does teleport away. <laughs> Bye bye. Uh, Damadouche. Damadouche is gone. But he basically was only able to take himself. Uh, he did. He wasn't able to take any any of the stash or anything like that. So that at least is in your favor. So he's done. The cultists going to they see Damakos bamf up out of there Quetzal you're still like 10 feet up right yeah okay cool cool is that, is that a problem no not really <laughs> okay cause cool. you're coming down These are these guys standing at weird angles. So I'm just gonna kind of pop them over here. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. And they're gonna make some attacks here. Let's start with Hoot Hoot. Normal roll. Nope. Nope on that one. Nope. Uh, oh, that, that, that one actually does hit. Okay, so uh, Hoodoo takes another six damage, bringing it him, bringing him down to uh, sixty-seven hit points. All right, because Krishna is the closest person, they're going to try to attack him. Most excellent. Oh, wait. I can't even see this cultist over here because of my stupid... Hang on. I'm going to have a cultist I got to move around. Give me just a second. He would have moved up here the first round. I got to pop him. He's not going to be able to attack Krishna. And he can at the very least move up here to create a flanking position. For advantages. All right. 
and what what do we got? Twenty will miss. Is your armor class is twenty three, right? Um, armor class is twenty. So who's trying to hit me right now? The cultists. <clears throat> oh yeah. All right. One of them lands a crit. You can't. I got adamantine armor. Oh, what? Well, twenty three. Yes, right. would... And I got blur. I got blur too. So have you been trying striking at a disadvantage? Oh, this would be the straight rolls then. Cloak of slice bit. Oh dang. Okay. Wow. They. I'm just not even gonna roll for them then. They can't even hit you. They just like try to swipe at you with with the uh, uh sit with, with their scimitars and like some of them uh just it looks like they're going to hit you but because of the blur they just miss entirely or, nice. or actually i'm sorry the just the it's not blur it's displacement so it's like you're right. a little bit shifted over so they just swing and it like goes through your your shifting form uh <clears throat> Some of them hit your armor and just scrapes against it. Ha ha. Yeah. Nice. That's crazy. Yeah. Totally crazy, dude. So I'll go for the wizards first every time. Krishna, it's your turn. You are the right, boss um, of the round. I'm going to... Use, uh, my text. I'm right by Black Knight, right? So I can mm -hmm. get the Black Knight. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to put a Hunter's Mark on the Black Knight. Okay. I'll give you an extra 1d6 okay. point of, of damage to, to that. The Black Knight has not been hit yet. About to be. So, yeah. Bring it on. Where is, Where is so, to attack with the sword, do I just hit the attack modifier here? Like for the actual attack roll? Oh, that's right, 1d20 plus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can set up your your weapon so that it will like roll your attack and damage. Is that set up for you? Um, I don't think that it is. Hang on. Well, maybe, maybe it is. I mean, so if I... Flame tongue? Yeah. Okay. So I'll, I'll that. It does plus two d six fire damage. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So you would click, like click the flame tongue. Right I click there. that. This is what comes up. Huh? Nothing does. Oh, that's weird. Why does that not? Well, I guess I rolled a, a one. Hang on. Let me go back here. Oh, I, I re -roll. Oh, that is a one. That is a one. Give me uh, serendipity. But you made that macro, so it should be just a just a matter of clicking the button on your on your page on your main page. Um, what, what is it now? Sorry, you cut out there for a second. Um, we we I, I kind of walked you all through making that macro for the serendipity roll. I don't know if I made it right, so the roll didn't. Oh, it to okay. Yeah, it's forward it's slash r. Defended. Not R forward slash. It's okay. It's, it's R backslash? No, backslash R. Backslash R. Or backslash roll. There you go. That's for... That's Quetzal. Quetzal, what you rolling that for? <coughs> I was showing him... Oh, I was... I must have been muted. I was saying you can go to your little dice... And click on advanced dice roller and click 1d100 and hit roll. Oh, that's true too. Excellent. 
let us see what happens. Okay. Not great. Not not a great roll. Yeah. yeah. Um, so you swing, and you're swinging at the black mark. The black mark. Okay. Um, so the black knight parries your sword strike and uh, maneuvers it in such a way that uh, it kind of throws you off balance. So the next attack against you will have advantage, which will counteract, of course, the displacement right cloak. On. now you're wearing full plate right right and a sh- you have a shield right what are the what are the magic bonuses to those i think uh if i'm not mistaken the shield is the shield may be a planning jamming shield because it was a resistant to cold. Okay. Um, it was a plus one before, but now I think it's just resistant to cold. All right. Uh, the plate on there is plus one. Got one thing. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so that's what, yeah, that's what it was worth. Gotcha. Damn. Very good. Well. Next up is the Black Knight. And I'm going to roll this d6 first. Nice. Okay, great. Great. <clears throat> now. I oh, apologize, y'all. I, I had advantage to hit. Would that have mattered, though? Would that have negated that? Uh... That one? Why do you have advantage yeah. to hit? Hundreds mark. Oh no! Does that? It doesn't give advantage. It just does plus one d six. It gives. Seven. Yeah, it gives uh, extra damage when you do hit. Yeah, that's all. Uh, it yeah. does. It does other stuff too, but it, like, as far as combat stuff, yeah, that's pretty much. Ah, uh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. All right. Here we go. Straight roll. Deathbringer. Boom! Twenty eight. <laughs> Yep. Nice. Okay. That's not very nice. Uh, no, no. Certainly so, not. if they hit at your armor class, does it hit? It does. Yeah. Uh, I it mean, something. it's it goes both ways. Yeah, it's it yeah. works the same for them as it, as it does for you. Right. So. All right. So go ahead and make a con save for me. Actually, you're going to make two, to be precise. Two con saves. Krishna? Yeah. Uh, it look plus three, but uh, plus three to uh, saving throws. Oh, because of the aura? Yeah. Does the aura affect you as well? Or it is does. it just others? It's it's me and anyone within it's anyone within that ten foot circle, including me. Oh sweet. So nice. Okay. So the first con save was for the attack, which fails, unfortunately. Um, so you'll be taking one D six additional necrotic damage on your next turn. Okay. At the start of your next turn, whenever that kicks around and the con the secondary con save is successful in maintaining your hunter's mark from the damage um we'll be updating um hmm we'll be able to use that um favored by the gods for that first saving throw what does that do for you it uh adds 2d4 to either a saving throw or an attack that's a, uh, is that a channel divinity thing? 
Oh yeah, it's it's the it's the it's a ability of the divine soul at first level. Oh sure, yeah. I mean, you can do that. Okay. Sure, yeah. All right, so two d four. So we'll add seven to that first save. So first con save would be twenty-two. Oh, nice. Okay. Then you will not be taking the follow-up damage. Excellent. Very good. Um, you're already adjacent, so it, uh, the Black Knight's not going to really have to do this to you. Uh, Quetzal. Yeah? Um, uh, a tentacle shoots out from the Black Knight and attempts to grab you. Let's no. see how it does. No. Normal. <laughs> That's a 30. I'm going yeah. to assume that that hits. Show does. Christ. <laughs> Lost uh, strength saving throw. My bad. That was con. Yeah. Uh, you can take that if you want. My con's there. Your con's what? Lower than my strength. Uh, your strength saving throw is higher? Yeah. What is it? It doesn't matter, I guess. But Yeah. Fair enough. Um, by the way, uh, sorry, I don't know if... Uh, did you get the damage that you took there, uh, Krishna, before? No, I didn't modify okay. that. Uh, so you take 20 it? damage from that attack. Uh, if you select your icon and then click the green bubble, which is your health, you can just type yeah. in minus 20, and it'll update that for you. Uh, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Uh, Quetzal will take 12 bludgeoning damage. Yep. Already and put it in. be pulled in. Nope. I saved my strength. Oh, you did save. You did save. So you managed to, to fight off the tentacle, but it still slams in you pretty hard. That's fun. Oh, yeah. Quetzal, it's your turn now. All right. I'm going to hit this motherfucker with the goddamn hot pot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, please. Please do damage. Fuck me. What the fuck is wrong with my goddamn rolls? <laughs> Roll nice. You know what? I Wait, give. Can I, can I, is he within? Yeah. Well, are you within thirty feet? You're not. I can get you. Damn it. What? Let's see. One d twenty. What? What? What is that? That's a weird. It's one d twenty plus. My dex plus my proficiency. Which is plus, oh, it's plus, plus yeah, four. Really yeah, so I rolled, I rolled a four. Unfortunate dex. Was, were we? I have a question for you, and I don't remember offhand. Um, do you have it in the players, like in your character sheet as plus four? For what? For, for your hot pockets? It's a, yeah, that's my character sheet is plus four right now. Okay. Or for the for the ranged attack. Gotcha. Plus four. I gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Unfortunately let's see. Yeah. Sorry man. There's not my deck is garbage. Did you want to move at all? Mm. Uh, okay. I'm going to hit this motherfucker at some point. <laughs> Man, it's the worst. I hate I hate whenever you, you're just on cold nights. Yeah. yeah. It's, like everything. yeah. it's like, well, I missed. All right. Time to go back and continue and sit and wait. <laughs> yeah, for reals. I feel you, man. Okay. I mean, it's pretty much Gerald literally every time he goes uh, and plays I on it. I play as, a, a as a player. 
Yeah. That's true. I, All right. I can't, um, I can't roll for shit as a player. Let's see. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and unload the Black Knight. Well, I guess I can try to bonus action to hide again. Okay. I would allow that. They're very focused. Oh, yeah. That's 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 real good. Okay. Did we ever determine what the the armor class was of the the knight? Uh, the Knigget? No, it hasn't. I don't think it's been hit yet. It will be. Oh. All right. I'm going to Let's see. We're just gonna fire normal with this one with advantages. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. 17. 17 does not hit. No! Yeah, dude. Tommy, can I get a reroll? No, he's yeah, not going to 30 sure. feet. No, he's not going to 30 feet. Oh, dang. <clears throat> Well, then. Kane's, Kane's like way far away. Yeah, about ninety-five feet. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm out there. Yeah. All right. Well, um, does that bl that blows my cover? Um, or, no? gonna, I would say probably. Technically, it does, but we'll say that the arrow just like zipped but behind them and like hit the. They're too too focused on the. The yeah. impending battle. The big, armored, almost impossible to hit guy. Yeah. That guy. 22. 22 will definitely hit. Alright, so 22 hits, 17 doesn't. Somewhere in that window. There you go, and 23 DiMaggio's. Nice. First damages of the night to that guy. Great. Wait, re really? Yeah. You moving? Dang. Are you good? I'm pretty good up here, I think. Okay. Great. Clank. All right. <clears throat> here we go. Um, okay, hoot hoot. Start swiping at the. Is that pink? <laughs> Pink, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. So first one will be. Uh, this will be the uh, the beak. Wow. Okay. Oop. Nope. Nope. Miss. All right. Next one will be the claw. Okay. Oops. That's damage. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <coughs> Hit. Definitely. Hit. All right, and then damage. Dang. Wow. So pink guy is dead. Alright, and then Clank is gonna uh, special beam cannon. I scream it. Special beam cannon! And I start just <laughs> shooting it at the other guy. Which which other? Oh, the other, the purple? Yeah. Purple dot? Okay. Yep. Uh, and I can do it, what, six times? Yeah. Alright, so uh, this uh, it, it shoots four. twice. Huh? This shoots it twice. Oh, wait. So, Why did it... I'm confused. Cause, cause those are two shots. Those are two shots each, and it shoots it six times. So these are both 1d4s. Oh, I see what you're 1D4s. Okay, I gotcha. So yeah. this is the... So... It's 1d4 plus one, by the way. So... Ooh, okay. So plus six to all this. I gotcha. I so mean, four... overall... Plus three is seven, plus five is twelve, plus six is eighteen, which is enough to take this guy out. Nice. And I would, uh, we'll say that Hoot Hoot is going to go ahead and move. Uh, he's got plenty of room to go up here, I'm sure. He's just going to move like right here. Because Quetzal's flying above. Hang on. 
I mean, I'm, I, I'm gonna move Quetzal back a little bit. Okay. And then that's the. Nope. That's, the that's fine. I can yeah, see it. That'll be fine. We will. We'll. We'll maneuver it as needed. Okay. Nicely done. We took out a bunch of cultists. That's good. The cultists are going to. They're like. We can't even hit this guy. Screw that noise. Um, they're going to move to hit Hutu. So, Krishna, if, yes, sir. You, if you would like, you can make an attack of opportunity against one of them. Well, either the red dot or the no dot, I guess. It doesn't matter. All right. That'll hit. Ooh, so that's uh, 18 damage. Sweet. Um, well, if that won't take him down, I can I can put a smite on it. Oh, yeah. that'll take one of them down for sure. Excellent. Yeah. Deaded. Uh, nice. Yeah. Going for nowhere, sure. son. They're gonna attack Hoot Hoot. And fail miserably. Fail. That's a one. And then that's a seven. Let's see what the serendipity roll is. Do 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 do. Oh goodness. Yeah. Uh, this one here, the one that fled from Krishna to attack Hoot Hoot. Goes to swing with his scimitar, and Hudu like rips it out of his hand, and just like throws it away, so it sails off. Dang, Hudu here somewhere. Yeah. Bo reels, Krishna. Your foe is at hand. Oh, Excellent. And has taken damage Crap. already. In case that's relevant, may or may not be. Black Knight. Strike it be. Alright. Doing your two attacks. That'll hit. For sure. Ooh. That's, a, that's a 19. Plus stuff. But they level 3 smite. So adding Oh yeah, because you, you can call smite on the hit, can't you? Yeah. You don't have to like spend the spell slot beforehand. Oh my goodness. Right. Delicious. Yep. Uh, 19 plus 16 is 35 damage. Okay, so that's your first attack. Right. Alright, great. 19 will hit. Oops. Ooh. Oh, uh, level 2 smite. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, just dumping the smites. Ooh, yeah. that was poopy. Plus yeah, another was... <laughs> 14 damage. All right. Tasty. Very tasty. Um, yeah, these hits are, are doing pretty good against him. Uh, or her, or whatever. Them. Uh, the... There, there are no cries of pain, by the way. Uh, very stoic. Oh, Hunter's Mark. So was that extra? Uh, I'm sorry. I apologize. Oh, the Hunter's Mark. Six. You're right. Uh, it's plus yeah. another D6 per attack. So that'd be another 2D6. 2D6? Yeah. Okay. Got it. Good deal. Good, good deal. Uh, the Black Knight is pissed. <laughs> pissed. Let's see if it regains. Nice. Okay, great. It does regain tentacle spray again. I'm rolling real good for this guy. Person, whatever. Uh, first attack against Krishna. 
<sighs> Let's see. This would be, technically speaking, at disadvantage. Except for the cultist on your other side who is granting flanking, which would make it a straight roll. Okay. Good deal. Boop. 22, I do believe, is a miss. Indeed. Great. Great. So we're going to do tentacle spray, and this time it's going to be targeting both Krishna and Quetzal. Uh, because, you know, threat and stuff. Yep. Normal roll. That's fine. <gasps> That's a one. Nice. That's a natural one. I that's that was a bad that was a bad run for old Black Knight person. Okay. Uh not a great go. I will say that uh the tentacles kind of slap out uselessly against you guys. You're able to dodge out of the way and uh this this run of, of tentacles seems to leave the black knight a bit like winded almost it seems so the next attack will have advantage which is serendipitously quetzal Ooh. all right it. this is it <laughs> God damn. you have advantage how many pies do you have left how many hot pockets do you have left I've got nine because I can hold twelve at a time. Oh dang! Okay, yeah, yeah. He buys those value packs. Yeah. <laughs> if I'm on the ship, I'm just cooking nonstop. Yeah. Nineteen. Nineteen hits. <laughs> it does. Nineteen hits. Seventeen doesn't. Wait, that's not damage. How do I do damage? But <laughs> oh, do you get two attacks? No, I'm trying to figure out how to do damage. Uh, do 46. How do I roll my damage? <laughs> I mean, you can just manually put it in. Um, hang on. Maybe you can, like, click on. There should be a way to do it. I know. On Pathfinder, I can roll. There it is. That's it. If, if you click on it, it says Spoon Launched Hot Curry Pocket. Yeah. Uh, just click on the text there and it'll roll for I you. I see. DC save to be blinded, right? Yeah, it's a DC okay. uh, 15, I think. Okay, 15. I will do that. Con save. Deck save. Deck save. Okay. Uh... Oh, wait, no. No, no. No, I guess that works out. Okay. <laughs> Six. Okay, great. That's really handy. So, taking 19 damage? Yep. Sweet. Okay. Fucking finally. Yeah, <laughs> really. All right. And uh, the Black Knight is blinded until the start of your next turn. Uh, right. uh, this says one round. Oh, okay. Great. Great, great. Kane. All right. Your go, my dude. Rinse and repeat. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let me check something real quick. And then we'll jump into that. Okay. Attack rolls against the creature have advantage. Because the Black Knight is blinded, you have advantage on the attack rolls. Whoop, whoop. Just so you know. I'm actually going to continue to move down this thing a little bit further. Sure. Yeah. I'm still staying within range. And that tent's collapsed, so it's not like it's blocking me. That's very true. 
All right. Um. So we'll go ahead and uh, that was a shadow step. Uh, took off my other stealth point. Okay. Or shadow point. Nice. Oh, that should that shouldn't have been advantaged. Well, I mean, you just, just either way, it doesn't matter anyway. Yeah. Yeah, you're, um, you're absolutely fine. I mean, you have advantage already on the attack roll. All right. Now we're going to. We're gonna, we're gonna stick it stick it right into. Okay. All right. So this is with the advantage, but number bow go. Wow. Oofta. Yeah, that doesn't hit. What? Attack again. Twenty-three. Yay. Wait. Oh, right. Yeah. Second one. I yeah, get two shots. Definitely hit. All right, Ooh, there dang. we go. 24 damages. Great. Very, very good. All right. We are going to go to Plank. Okay. What you got, Plank? All right. Hoot Hoot is going to slash at the blue one. Okay. No, yeah. He's gonna peck first. That's fine. Okay. It's just fine. That hits. Okay. <clears throat> Roll that one d ten plus five. Oh, plus five to that. Okay. Plus so that's thirteen. Got it. Okay. All right. And second one. Attacking the same person. Yep. Okay. Hmm. Hits. Did I hit? Oh, yeah. Alright. 2d6 plus 5. It's those ones. <laughs> 2d8 plus 5. They're both ones. Wow. You know what? It doesn't matter, though, because he's dead. He only had 3 hit points left. Nice. Dead or deader. Alright, and now Jadar. What would you like to do? And who else is a lot of these guys? Uh, so, there are two cultists left. And the Black Knight. All right, take care of the cultists. Um, magic missile at this one right here. Okay. Got it. Or you know, special beam cannon thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm with yeah. you. Did you do the plus one already? I uh, know. Did you add those? No. Mm, no. Go ahead and put that on your special beam cannon for me. All right. Then it'll make it easier later. Uh, so that's seven. Plus 5 is 12, plus 2 is 14, plus 6 is 20, which is plenty enough to take out that guy. Down to a singular cultist and the Black Knight. The cultist <laughs> is going to attack Hoot Hoot again. <laughs> uh, as ridiculous as that is, and is going to miss. <laughs> And is going to back up. Oh no, don't stretch out, Mr. Cultist. He's going to move him. There you go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Um, since he's fleeing, Hoot Hoot would technically get an attack of opportunity if he wanted to do so. Up to you, Clank. Up to me? Yeah. Would Hoot Hoot use a reaction to attack? Oh, yeah. A, yeah. Uh, he... Seemingly fleeing cultist. Yeah, he would, he would try to grab him with his beak and bring him back to eat him. Nope. Let's him go. Nope. That would <laughs> definitely not hit. But Clank wouldn't. Special beam cannon! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Already did it. Yeah. Okay, good. Krishna. Alright, let's hit the black knight again. Alright. Let's see what you got. The 16 
Oh, was that two attacks? Yeah, that's some shit ass rolls. That is some shit ass rolls. Yeah, neither of those oh. hit. Okay. <laughs> Did you want to move? Um. No. Okay. Fair enough. Is then the Black Knight's turn. Unless you had a bonus action for me. Any kind of bonus action, anything? What's up? You have any bonus actions you want to do? Or are you good? Um, I probably should go ahead and just cast. Uh, let's see. No, no, fuck it, whatever. No. That's fine too. So the Black Knight. Oops, close that for now. There we go. Make sure we're good there. Okay, great. <clears throat> first things first. Does it recharge? Yes, it does. Dang. All right. First attack with the sword against. Did you take into account that he was blonde? Yes, it's at disadvantage. Cool. Which Damn. is a 23. Um, shield. You're going to burn a first level spell for that? Okay. Yep. Alright, how many of those do you have left? I should have two left. I've cast two first level spells, right? You cast... Uh, yeah. It would have been two two shields, right? You've cast shield twice so far. I think that, yeah. And then the smites and stuff. No, uh, what what level is Hunter's Mark? Second. I've cast uh, two level threes and a level two as well. Yeah, what what level is Hunter's Mark? Uh, Hunter's Mark level is two spell. Yeah, that's a um, a level one spell. So I've used three level ones so far. Then okay, gotcha. One level three, two level threes. Good deal. All right. Um, the Deathbringer is getting, or I'm sorry, the Death Knight is uh, Black Knight. It's not really a Death Knight per se. The Black Knight is getting really aggravated, and is going to try to to tentacle grab. Quetzal and just slap. Uh, no. Krishna. So no. just slap. I'm going to roll. Here's how this is going to run. Um, because it's disadvantage against Krishna, but it's a regular roll against. No, I, I guess it would be disadvantage either way. Because she's blind. Or blind. Ooh. Okay. Doesn't matter. 27. Um, oh, no. <laughs> Krishna's good. Because shield is still up. Yeah, but still. Well, I didn't mean to do advantage on that. Take the 12. Uh, okay, so 12. So you are pulled... Not only. Okay. Bitch slapped with the tentacles, I get pulled to. To adjacent Nissness. Boom. Okay. So let's see. The damage That's is. That's all right. Uh, Oof. Hoofta. It is. Why is that? Adding, it's not. Hmm. It should only be the two d six plus seven, so it's just the fourteen damage. Okay. It's not both. Um, Krishna does not take that because the shield is still up, and so your armor class is temporarily twenty eight. Okay. All right. 
Good deal. And they are very, very upset. Quetzal, you're right up in this, this person's face. Sure am. Um... Can I hit him with a pod and just like shove it in his Like it's in a melee attack instead of having to do ranged? I would allow that, yeah. Okay. And with your skill in using uh, the pies and creating the pies and having you cook all the time, I won't have you take any residual damage from the hot pocket. Sweet. Sweet. Uh, you know how to handle food. Yep, and we'll add seven to that. Twenty-three. Okay, that will hit. And then it is four d six. Not, not bad. All right. Not bad at all. Yeah, that's all I'm going to do. Okay. Boom. Bear. Okay, you can go ahead and kill this motherfucker. <laughs> it is Kane's Man, turn. It is Kane's turn. We'll do, we'll do the same, uh, oh, same wait. deal. I have to make a saving throw, don't I? Oh, yeah, for Blanc. Yeah, 15, uh, 15 against Dex. 20 plus... Nope. Blinded again. That sucks. Blind. That super sucks. Okay, so you have advantage on your attack rolls, King. I do? Yeah, everyone does against okay. while while they're blind. Okay, so I don't need to worry about trying to go stealth this time. No, no, you don't have to. There's also a cultist running in your direction, but that's probably not as relevant to you as nope. the other guy, given the fact that the other cultists were just wrecked by Hoot Hoot. <laughs> hoot Hoot. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, those little... Even your lower rolls on that will hit. All right. Which is bonkers. Okay. So, obviously, you don't get sneak attack twice, so that would be just the eight. Yeah, so just the 12 is removed. So, it's okay. so 33. It's 16, yeah. Okay. Cool. Good deal. Um, this Black Knight is hurt us uh, so bad. So, so bad. But not down no. yet. Lord, Ooh. I think, I think right. I gotta go to bed. After after this, I okay. got I gotta go to bed. Yeah, Frank, uh, walk up real quick and magic missile him. Should do it. Well, first, who who's gonna? He can he can attack ten ten spaces, right? He has a yeah. Plus, the cultist is dead anyway. Yeah, yeah. He, he can also move up, but he's yeah. He's got the reach. Okay, let's see what his attack rolls are. All right. Nope. Not the beak. And nope. nope. Nope, nope, nope. Alright. Magic missile! Okay. Special beam cannon. And this does have the additional on it now. Okay. I see. Very good, very good. So that's 16 plus 7 is 23. Which is... How you want to do this? <laughs> um, I want to like so it's six shots. I want to like hit him in the shoulder, knocks a piece out of his shoulder, his other shoulder, and then like his side, his side, and then straight through his chest, and then straight through his forehead, like through his face. So like you knock the helmet off. Yeah, I gotcha. Uh, so these blasts are so precisely targeted 
that they hit the flesh underneath the armor and just so that it also hits like the key pieces like the clasps and such on the armor so that um, like the left shoulder armor piece falls off right the right one falls off the uh, the back part of the breastplate falls off and then the helmet of course uh, comes loose and as the corpse because it's I mean the, the black knight is absolutely dead um, as the body's falling um, when the helmet flies off the features of this individual um, it's number one it's fairly clearly a woman and number two she looks very familiar to all of you it's Belena uh, it's Belena <laughs> Belena would have killed all of you easily uh, a level 20 monk are you kidding me you guys would be dead <laughs> maybe uh, maybe Belena has not reached level 20 yet maybe she's stalled in her training uh, no no Krishna, if you didn't know any better, because you're standing like over the body at this point, <clears throat> as you're kind of looking at her, if you didn't know any better, you would think you were staring at Finn. Huh. Whoop. I see Finn, eh? One of the wolf clan. Yeah. Are you going to be happy about that? <clears throat> I don't know. I don't recall his relationship with his sister. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm not going to tell him. No, he, yeah, no, fuck that. He's very close to all of his family members. And most especially to his twin sister. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, that sucks. Frig. Wolf heart. No bueno. Well, let's uh, <sighs> get her on, an air sh on the airship and all right. take her back to Sartek and revivify that <laughs> yeah so it's late uh, the, oh. it's super late so it's, yeah. we're it's gonna call dumb it late not to mention the fact that I now have sufficient uh, length to make a reasonably uh, <laughs> length second video and just like <laughs> clip out that whole ridiculous me talking to myself bit I might just leave it in for shiggles but uh, again like I said you should but like you should just sniff that out, make another video of just that. Yeah, just put like some text in it. Say bloopers. Hey. Yeah, yeah, bloopers. <laughs> That's it. All right. Uh, All right. We will call it there, and we will come back, I guess, in two weeks. Yep, those weeks. Then All right. we'll uh, pick up right back where this left off. All right. Oh, real yeah. quick. Actually, before you guys go, um, do you want to stick with Roll20 and just have me get the the subscription the, the, the subscription, um, and have some contribution from everybody's end? Yeah. In, yeah. In I room. like Roll20 because it's, it's just it's pretty simple. It's pretty simple. Yeah, I already know it. Uh, <laughs> it, it flows well. Uh, we can do it on our phones and stuff, too. I can access it from any web browser instead of having to have the Fantasy Ground software installed, which I really like as well. Um, it's more readily accessible, I would say, yeah. than Fantasy Grounds. Um, I know that Fantasy Grounds is a more... It gives you more kind of stuff to go along with it, but uh, like you get a little bit more power and such. But yeah, it's a more robust platform, but real quick though, uh, let's go ahead and end, end the recording and the stream, and then we'll we'll finish up this conversation. So, um, two weeks from now, we'll be playing again, and we'll see you then. All right, Ooh, bye. sounds good, guys. <laughs>